Hello everyone. This is Prasad Reddy. Welcome back to SAP BTP. In the last video, I have discussed how to create your BTP trial account, how to create your sub account, how to enable Cloud Foundry, how to subscribe to Business Application Studio, and how to create an instance SAP HANA Cloud. If anyone does not watch my previous video, please go and watch. I will post you the link in the comment section. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create a new user in BTP and how to assign roles in, to the new user and how to install your Cloud Foundry command line interface and add API endpoint in your command prompt. So let's begin the video. So in order to create a new user, you need to go to your sub account. In the left hand side, you will see the security tab. In that, click on users tab. See, in the right hand side, you can see any create option. Click on that. You need to just give you a, a mail ID. That's it. User will be created. Now you need to assign the roles to the user. So if you don't want this user, you can delete in the actions tab here. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see assign role collection. Click on that. After that, you need to select which roles you need to assign to the user. I'm selecting the studio developer, administrator, extension developer, cloud connector administrator, connectivity and destination administrator, sub account administrator. I'm assigning these roles to the user. I see the role collection has been successfully assigned and you can see what are the roles you have assigned to this user. Okay. This is how you create a new user and assign roles to the new user. And after that, now, you need to install Cloud Foundry command line interface. For that, you need to go to the link. Actually, I have already copied this link. Don't worry, I will post the link in the comment section. You can download it from here. See, you can download B7 CLI command line interface installation guide. From here, you can download it. See, for the Windows version, it is there is a zip file. If you click on it, you can you can download it. Actually, I have already downloaded the command line interface in my PC. After that, one need what you need to do is you need to add your API endpoint in your command prompt. So what is your API endpoint? It's nothing but, I will show you. See, you need to go to your sub account. See, this is nothing but your API endpoint. You need to add this in the command prompt. So, Windows R, CMD. See, this is command prompt. Type the command CF login. Actually, you need to add your API endpoint over here. I have already added my API endpoint over here. After that, you need to give your email address. Password. The authenticating you need to select an organization see I will show you the what is the organization over here see you can see the organization name is A21A8145 trial Prasad so you need to select that so to see, we have created a space BTP over there so this is the API endpoint and this is the version this is the user organization space okay we came to end of this video thank you for watching this video 
if you have any doubts regarding this video please post in the comment section so that we will discuss over there thank you hello everyone